Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Suikoden 2. Last time we made our way to Banner Village because we are actually going to Greg Minster from Suikoden 1. And we can check this little barrel here for a shiny or an alert rune. Uh, let's see what we got going on here with this thing. Yeah, basically after four turns in battle you become hyper, which means that your magical attack power will go up by 50%. However, um, you will have more chances of your magic backfiring and harming your party, so just be wary of that. Um, it might be useful for somebody like Luke in some of the longer battles, but for the most part, I end my battles by turn 4 anyway, so I'm not too concerned. I am General Ryu! Man, get it together, kid. Oh. Oh, rabbit patterns. Really? Oh, what else do you got going on here? You have the Rose Brooch. Awesome. This is uh, useful for, well, you need it. It's not useful for it. You need it for recruiting um, another party member. So let's go ahead and buy that. Rabbit plans for deities if you care. Um, buy some jizz if you want to for revival purposes, but I'm not going to worry about that. Let's just keep on looking around and see what's going on in this small, quiet, unassuming village. Nobody's fishing. You would think that there's nothing else to do here but fish. Ooh, a seed potato. Great. Thanks. Huh. Maybe. Maybe that's why they're not fishing, because they're in a bad mood or something. Get over here. Oh. Huh. So the Tauran Republic is north of here? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, well. I thought that, you know, the city-state was north of here. We just came from there. Oh, um, okay, I guess. Oh, you like me too? I got a whole little fan club here. Man. Um, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna stay, but I'm not actually going to stay. And let's see if that impresses the innkeeper's daughter here. Yeah, no. Okay, we'll deal with her later, anyway. Let's just keep on going around here and uh, see what else we can find. There's a little um, pier there, but nobody's there right now. So we'll keep that in mind for later as well. Anyway. Oh, monsters and bandits! Oh my! Eh, well, that's where I want to go, because we need to go through here in order to get to Greg Minster, because remember, Sheena joined our party and we're trying to ally with them to get more troops to fend off the Highland soldiers. And get some Mega Medicine, too. Not that I care or use it or anything, but it's there. Yikes! Here we have some Tigers! Um, do I really... Is... I wonder if Freedy and his wife have a unit. They do! A husband-wife attack. Yeah, we'll go ahead and use that one. Why not? Uh, we saw Flick and Nina's United Attack last time, so we might as well check out this United Attack, see how see how good it is. Ooh, look at Flick's attack power. Bam! Ooh! That was so shitty. What a crappy United Attack that was. Like, seriously, what the... What was the point of that? And then it unbalances her, too? Like, come on, that was terrible. Maybe they just need more levels, and that's why it was so bad. Who knows? Like, that was embarrassingly bad. Go ahead and heal up Freedy. Um, yeah, he's going... He needs some help. <laughs> like, he needs massive help. Um, his defense is not all that hot, and I can't really stick him in the back row either. Here we get some samurai, but only two of them. That's fine. Oh, by the way, those tigers, they can drop a window set one if you're looking to gather window sets. So just keep that in mind. Wow, Nina's attack was better than Sheena's. Like, I'm telling you guys... Like, she's really not half bad. She's actually halfway decent if you give her a shot. 
Oh, a full helmet. Let's see who can actually equip that. Maybe, hopefully, Freedy, because, oh, he doesn't even have any helmet on. That will really help him out uh, immensely, um, having that there, just, you know, survivability and whatnot. Oh. Rin Rin, Ran Ran, and Ten Ten? Okay. Um, you have a fire rune on you. Let's do Dancing Flames and just get rid of all these guys. I think that will be the best course of action here. Oh, they actually don't have all that much HP. As usual, I probably wasted my rune, but whatever. By the way, um, Rin Rin can drop a barrier rune if you care about that or if you want it. It's here. So, yeah. You can also get a die at lunch. Not that I care about that either, but it's here. So getting to Greg Minster and traveling on the world map, this is probably one of the longest, like, Greg Minster is a very out of the way place to go, which makes sense. You know, we're actually leaving our country right now. We're going to an entirely different um, country. So it makes sense that it does take quite a bit of time to get there. However, once we do make our way to Greg Minster, it will probably be like the last long journey that I have to take because we're going to get an item there that will help me out immensely. I cannot wait to get that item. And those of you who have played this game before know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, here we have a magic ring. Whoa, magic plus 15? Well, I'm going to go ahead and stick that one on Nina. There we go. Um... What else did I do? Oh, I got the Stone of Luck. We'll go ahead and use that on Ryu. There we go. One piddly-ass point of luck? Man, that sucks. Like, what's the point? Even back in the Dragon Warrior games, I think it was Dragon Warrior 3, it was Dragon Warrior 3, that introduced stat seeds to basically the RPG genre, because there was no other RPG that had stat seeds until Dragon Warrior 3 came around and did it, because, you know, Dragon Warrior is the best game of all time! And it introduced everything to um to jrpg dumb but anyway even there you had a chance of it going up to like plus five and i think if you were doing an hp seed or an mp seed you had a chance of it going to plus six but here we're still getting plus ones like that's really bad oh well let me oh what do we have here oh a poison rune i want to say that that can just yeah a 40 percent chance of poisoning um, extra speed. Wow, that defense boost. You know what? I might give this one to Freedy, because again, he really need. Seriously. Oh, you know what? You have to give that to one of the wingers. You have to give it to Sid or Chaco, um, because it's a wing ornament, so it goes on their wings. Yeah, I know. Huh. Any way, we have to continue our way through this forest, but right over here... Where is it? There is a secret passage. I know it's around here. There it is. Okay, yeah, so there's a super secret passage. And let's see what reward awaits us down here. Um, going through this really hidden passage, I've got to say. Oh! A whole new village! Yikes! We're not spies! Whoa! Uh-oh. Yikes! Um, yeah? Please believe me. Oh, okay. Well, how unusual. Yeah, and we're kind of banished out back to the path that we started out at. So, we made it to Rokaku there, which is the hidden village of the ninjas. And uh, we first went there back in Suikoden 1. Um, but in order to make our way into the village in this game... We have to have a ninja with us, and unfortunately, we don't have any ninjas with us, so yeah, we'll need to be on the lookout for a ninja. And look out for some treasure! Get a silver shield. I think that the only person on my party who can use shields right now is Flick, but I have him equipped with a Mangosh, which increases his strength as well, so I'm not too concerned about that shield there. Yeah, he's this which uh, increases his, oh, it's his counterattack rate. Got you, not his strength there. Um, what did I get there? I got a silver lit, let's see. Defense plus 11. 
Oh, it's it's an accessory. Screw that. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna worry about um about defense raising accessories. And I have strength raising accessories. So we're almost through this forest. Just a little bit more to go here. Whoa! What in the world was that? Whoa! What the hell? Yikes! For boss time against a worm! Yeah, I know. Anyway, let's go ahead and use explosion. Um, let's see. Free, I guess I could use this husband and wife attack. Oh, it was so terrible. Oh, whatever, we'll use it. Who cares? Um, Sheena. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> Like, th there's a reason why I don't use the Earth Rune. Like, that's kind of crappy. Okay, use a Thor shot. Nina, have you used a Thor shot as well? And let's do this! Ooh, we have our first Unite attack. It is uniting lightning and fire! Whoa, almost 2,000 damage! And um, that will deal, I think, like another 1,300 damage to any other monster that's kind of, like, with them. Um, it deals, like, you know, a lot of damage to the main target, and then other dam residual damage to other monsters just kind of there. But yeah, that's really freaking nice. That's insane! I guess you can go ahead and use Dancing Flames. You can attack Sheena. Okay, yeah. Keep going. Ryu! Um, I guess Bolt of Wrath. That's good enough. You have another Thor shot, Nina? Hell to the freaking yeah you do! Damn, she's good. <laughs> Ooh! Yeah, this guy seems to be resistant to lightning. That's why it was really good to get that um, combo uh, hit in earlier with the lightning and the fire dealing that tons of damage there. But even if it is resistant to lightning, still dealing like 500 damage, hey, that's nothing to sneeze at. That's still a really nice bit of damage. Woohoo! Awesome. Oh, 35,000 potch! Damn! Yeah, that worm boss, it's pretty pathetic, if you ask me. It really wasn't that much of a boss at all. Didn't need to heal out. I didn't need to heal once or really do anything. It could just physically attack. So, yeah, I, I, I think that the game kind of gives you a reprieve on that boss since you do have to travel so far to get to it. This must be the border with Greg Minster. Hey, Varkus. Remember Varkus? He was that thief from the very beginning of the uh, first game. You would think that Sheena would recognize him. Oh, okay, so he's chief of the Border Patrol now. Just to, you know, forge an alliance and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah. Okay, so it's good. So, so, so Sheena does, or Varkus does know who Sheena is. Oh, so we can't just wander around freely, but we can get escorted there, so that's fine by me. Well, he'll be happy to see Sheena, too. Oh. This is just like the first game. Remember, the, the first game opened up in this room. That was the very first thing that we did was wait here um, with our father. Where, well, he went to go see Emperor Barbarossa, so it's kind of all coming full circle right now. Well, he's a very busy man. He's the president. What do you want from him? <laughs> Maybe you should have went out in the woods, Freedy. Are you going to, like, pee yourself in front of the Emperor? That wouldn't be exactly professional. I like how the maid had to walk around the candelabra, and we just walked right through it. We were like, screw this, let's just go! Hey there, scholar dude. Oh, well, good, I'm glad to hear that. I can't wait to see Lapont's new artwork. I hope it's better than what he looked like before. He looked ridiculous before. This is so much better. This is so much better. He looked like naked He-Man last time with a big old scarf around his neck or something. He looked ridiculous. He looks... Well, they did change his hair color, though, but he still looks so much better. Oh. 
Oh, well, we're not allied with Tinto yet. <laughs> Ooh, really? South Window and Tinto invaded? Huh, who knew? Well, yeah, because we're not part of the city-state. We're something completely different. Just like Tor and Casa was something completely different back in the first game. Yeah, no kidding. He's kind of a whack job. Yeah, he's uh, crazy. We've got to do something. And it would be nice to have peace with our neighbors. Why do I continue to fight? Um, I don't know. I just do. Oh, okay. Um, if you say so. What happens if we say to put an end to this war? Oh, he just goes straight into his pondering. And to defeat Luca Blight? Straight into pondering as well. Yeah, he's talking about um, the hero from the first game. Doc McDoll, apparently. <laughs> and I look just like him, too. Ooh, that's nice. That's a fifth of our army right there. We'll lead them. Oh, or Valeria can lead them, too. Yeah, she was in the first game. Or, oh, Kasumi. From Rokaku. Rahahahili. I'm gonna go with the ninja. Thank you. There's kind of a hidden village that I saw that I'd love to go explore. I like Valeria's new portrait. She has long flowing hair. Very pretty. Looking good, Valeria. Looking real good. And Kasumi actually looks like a girl this time. I think that I thought that he was a... Or she... He... She... <laughs> I'm having issues. I think that I thought that she was a boy, like, the entirety of the last game. Uh, greetings, Valeria. I think that she had a falcon rune the first game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Hmm, which woman do I want? It's not about hotness, Sheena. I'm gay. Get with it. Um, let me think. How about, give me a minute. Your secret notes? Um, what are your secret notes? What do you have to say about Valeria? Oh, okay. It's not like, I thought he was going to talk about my breast size or something ridiculous. Okay, well, let's see Kasumi's notes. This is just stats and whatnot. Okay. Yeah, 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 I'm good. Okay, so obviously, Kasumi, just to get into Rokaku, it's pretty obvious what I want here. Woohoo! More party members! What is it? I thought that we weren't friends. You barely want an alliance with me at all. <gasps> the blinking mirror! Sweet! Yeah, so basically, you go on the world map, you use this item, and you can immediately go back to your castle. Then you can talk to Vicky and just warp wherever you want to. You know, you warp to another town, use a blinking mirror, go back to headquarters. It is amazing! Yeah, no kidding, that will help me out a lot. Wait, you hate fighting? Seriously, Sheena? Drag him by his ear! <laughs> Take my idiot son with me. Okay. Yeah, just like Mulan. We'll make a man out of you. Oh. Well, you know, he has women to chase after. Okay, I guess I'll take Sheena along with me. It's fine. This poor kid. <laughs> He's like Prince of, of uh, Greg Minster, and he just gets treated like crap. Um, Kasumi? Um, you know what? I guess he can- oh, we have to- Uh, whatever, we'll kick out Yoshino. She, well, she has that wind rune, which is nice for healing and whatnot. 
Um, yeah, whatever. We'll throw... Well, no. Just... Okay, just for difference's sake, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and do this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was nice to meet you. Whatever your name was. Aw, oh, shit! Shit, I shouldn't have done that! Oh, damn! All these short-ranged people. Oh, this sucks. Whatever. Okay, whatever. I'm dealing with it. I have issues. I know. Oh, can we? Oh, but I don't want to go uh, back through this forest. I want to go back to Greg Minster. Yeah, so if you want to go back, just talk to him, and he will let you go back, and now you can explore the entire town, which we're going to be doing next time on this place we get into. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.